Hey, I'm Lars and this is Max. And we're here in beautiful northern Norway actually, running Saucony BAM. And the first day is over. We did about 18 kilometers, 900 altitude meters, and we ran in the Saucony Exodus Ultra which was a pleasure, it's nice and soft, but we're talking a little bit about it now and comparing it to the Peregrine 12, which we're running tomorrow. So um, what did you think? How did the Exodus Ultra do today? Yeah, well, uh, well, it has its ups and downs in this course, of course, because, yeah. well, the course up here is, uh, there's a lot of, uh, Mountain and uh, rocky and cliffs. You have to uh, some some place you have to have to climb, yeah, uh, almost. And uh, other places you have to uh, walk in snow and even on ice. And then you also have the gravel paths and trails and stuff like that. So it's so we had a lot of different surfaces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Um, and it's kind of rough to say that the Exodus Ultra is meant for this kind of thing, because it's not. No, it's, it's not. It's more of a comfortable trail shoe. Yeah, sure. Um, so we put it through its paces and it did okay, actually. Yeah. Uh, well, one very important thing to say about it is that if you do run in terrains like this, where you have all sorts of uneven surfaces to run on, and you like this shoe, you just have to tighten it really very hard. Because yeah. if you do that, it actually has an okay snug fit to yeah. your foot. But of course, this, this mesh is stretchy. And yeah. this is also what makes it so comfortable on the, the, the right surfaces, I would say. It has the ultra in the name. Ultra sometimes means you have a little bit more space for your foot. You have a little, more, a little bit more comfort for those longer runs. Yeah. And we did actually like to run in it but we can't wait to try the Peregrine 12 tomorrow as well because it's a little bit of a tighter fit. But cushion-wise, super nice, yeah. especially in the last five kilometers, we hit a trail and we could just cruise around in the shoe and it's really nice yeah. in that type of terrain. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, but the little bit more technical running, we're kind of looking forward to the Peregrine a little bit more. Yes, Yeah. totally agree. Yeah, so that's it for day one. Day two, Peregrine 12. Can't wait. Max, we're inside today yeah. because, because it's raining outside and we're done with day two and we ran in the Peregrine 12. Yeah, well, it's uh, it's funny to try so, uh, two very different shoes um, that close to each other on, on the same terrain. Yeah. and. Um, it's, it's very clear that these two shoes are very different and very good at two different things. So this Peregrine just uh, performed, I would say, totally awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it also it's, depends a lot on the what terrain we're running in. And definitely. this terrain here, which was really rugged and very varied and a lot of ups and downs and, and, and stones and that kind of stuff. And it just really worked. Yeah, really well. You also had a lot of these, um, you could almost call it flowless paths, yeah. right? where there's all, all, all sorts of stones and stuff where you have to stop and change direction and things like that. And yeah. well, these shoes are just great in these conditions, I would say. Yeah. So, yeah. so the overall differences between the shoes is that it's a different type of foam. So it's a little bit firmer. Yeah. It's a little bit lower stack. It's tighter around the foot, and just generally that means you get a little bit more responsiveness when you're doing that kind of movement side to side, and well, it's, it's easier generally. Also the upper, right? Yeah. It's, it's not stretchy. No, uh, exactly. Overall, it's our winner of the terrain here. Definitely. Uh, yeah. But we could really see a difference when we get to one of those really nice flat paths which the Exodus Ultra did really well in. Yeah. It, and you could hear this one almost like clap a yeah. little bit. Um, so there's a really big difference between the shoes and they're good at different things. Definitely. So I, I would say this is great for this terrain, but for the uh, the Exodus, if you, if you just like to run trail on, on paths and forests, stuff like that, yeah, 
it's gonna be totally amazing and full of comfort. Exactly, and yeah. comfort may, is maybe the word for the Exodus. Yeah. Because when I put my feet in to the Exodus yesterday after finishing this, it felt really good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.